the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have cleared their diaries for the remainder of the year, ahead of spending Christmas away from Buckingham Palace, hello. Reports. Harry, 35, is thought to have embarked on his final royal outing when he made an appearance at the on-site awards at the Royal Albert Hall on Sunday night. The Duke leaped praise on climate change activist Greta Thunberg, 16, and urged youngsters to unlock your potential and realize the difference that you can make. Meghan, 38, was last seen in public along with the rest of the royal family for the Remembrance Sunday service on November 10. The Duchess watched the ceremony at the Cenotaph from the balcony of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, beside the Countess of Wessex and Sir Timothy Lawrence. A royal insider told the Sunday Times, the Duke and Duchess have a full schedule of engagements and commitments until mid-November, after which they will be taking some much-needed family time. Last week it was confirmed the Sussexes will break tradition and will not spend Christmas with the rest of the royal family at Sandringham. The palace confirmed Meghan, Harry and their six-month-old son Archie will be spending the festive season with Meghan's mother Doria Ragland. The palace acknowledged the decision is not a complete surprise as other members of the royal family have previously chosen to spend Christmas elsewhere, and the decision has been approved by the Queen. In both 2012 and 2016 Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge spent Christmas with her parents Carol and Michael Middleton. Details of where Meghan and Harry will be spending the festive period was not disclosed by the palace, which has led to speculation they could be jetting off to LA or Meghan's mother could be flying to the UK. Royal expert, Angela Levine, said Christmas at Buckingham Palace is very demanding and LA has the ideal weather. Ms. Levin told Sky News, it's very demanding, it's very regimented over Christmas. You know, you can't eat after the Queen stops eating, you can't go to bed unless the Queen has gone to bed. Everything is absolutely on time. I think if you are tense anyway it's quite difficult. Ms. Levin added, also I think to be fair Los Angeles is hot, it's sunny. It's her mother's first grandchild and maybe only grandchild and perhaps she wants to share it with her. Meanwhile another royal source understands Meghan's mother could travel to the Britain to celebrate Thanksgiving on November 28, whilst Meghan visits a homeless shelter in the capital. A royal insider in the US told the Mail Online, From what I know, they aren't coming here. Doria is going there for the holiday, Thanksgiving. The source added, They won't be officially celebrating Thanksgiving because it isn't a British holiday. But Meghan is considering spending some of the day helping out at a homeless shelter in London. Last Thursday, the palace confirmed Meghan and Harry's Christmas arrangements. In a statement a spokesman said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are looking forward to extended family time towards the end of this month. Having spent the last two Christmases at Sandringham, their royal highnesses will spend the holiday this year, as a new family, with the Duchess mother Doria Ragland. This decision is in line with precedent set previously by other members of the royal family, and has the support of Her Majesty the Queen.